Lord Stark, there are five pups, one for each of the Stark children. The direwolf is a sigil of your house. They were meant to have them. In this video, I'll read the board schedule and the Blood Moon memo from the sets of Blood Moon. I'll also discuss the latest casting news and what Naomi Watts said at HBO's after party on Sunday's Emmy night. So stay tuned for that. Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Book Maniacs, your one stop for book and TV series reviews. I post episode reviews, top 10 and theory videos. And I post new videos every Saturday at 7 p.m. IST or at 9.30 a.m. EST. So make sure to subscribe this channel. And if you want to make sure you never miss a video, click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I've already discussed the plot of Blood Moon, its budget, possible release date, etc. in the first part of this video. And then I had discussed the set photos and other updates in the second part of this video. I'll post the link to those videos in the end, in case you wanna check them out. So without waiting any longer, let's jump right into it. Before we get to the schedule board and the Blood Moon memo, I wanna discuss the casting news first. Watchers on the Wall posted a few days ago that Tom Canton has been cast in Blood Moon. According to his CV, he will play the role of Ham. It could be his character's actual name or a code name. It's hard to tell at the moment. I know everyone thinks this means the casting is moving forward, but I think he was in the pilot and his CV was updated later, just like Thaig Murphy did. As you can see, the episode he was in was directed by S.J. Clarkson, and you know she is directing the pilot episode. By the way, Tom Canton will also play the role of Phila Vandral in The Witcher. Elves are the original sorcerers of the continent. When humans and monsters arrived, elves taught the humans how to turn chaos into magic. Then the humans slaughtered them. In The Witcher books, Phila Vandral was the leader of the elves who hated humans. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything for you. I'll post my frame by frame analysis of The Witcher trailer soon. At HBO's official after party at the Emmy Awards, Naomi Watts told E.T.'s Nichelle Turner that she has met Gwendolyn, aka Brienne, for the first time. She also met Lena, Peter, and Sophie at the Emmys. When she was asked if there is more of an expectation on her shoulders because of the weight of what Game of Thrones has been, she said, I'm trying not to think about it at that level, but it is evident how well done it is. It's an iconic moment tonight, at the end there, watching them all up on a stage, having gone through such a long period of time, and they are so well connected and bonded. They have all done such an incredible job. She also told E.T. that her brother is obsessed with Game of Thrones, and when she told him about it, he said, You will die before I let you not do that show. <laughs> you have to do it. She said she had to do some catching up, and when she did get around to watching it, she said it was absolutely riveting and she loved it. Naomi finished it in about two months. She had to watch Game of Thrones on long flights instead of at home because one of her kids once ran into the room when her brother was watching Game of Thrones and she was like, oh no, okay, right, this is not, not for you, not yet. Turner finished for her. So, these were the latest updates. Let's move on to the schedule now. In this picture, you can see the prop board June schedule. By looking into it, we'll get an idea of what or where they were planning to film. I'd like to thank Watchers on the Wall for these photos. So, let's begin. On 11th of June, WI Court, 8A27P, 1R Pre, 1R OT. I don't know the filming terms. But if I had to guess, I would say they were probably going to film a scene of Winterfell's court from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. They put one hour for set preparations. And I have no idea what OT means. Maybe outtakes? What do you think? According to George R.R. R. Martin, there will be hundreds of petty kingdoms in this prequel and how Stark would be one of those petty kingdoms. 
it hasn't risen in power yet. George R. R. Martin also said, the Starks will definitely be there. And then he said, there are things like direwolves and mammoths. The kings of winter have always had direwolf statues next to their Stark statues in the crypts of Winterfell. Maybe we'll also get to see the Starks starting to connect with direwolves in this prequel. If you're familiar with my Stark blood theory, you know how I think they'll get the power to walk into animals, especially their ability to bond with direwolves and become green seers. We know Bran the Builder built Winterfell and founded House Stark and according to my Starkblood theory said their house words winter is coming as a warning for his future generations. He built Winterfell after defeating the White Walkers. So there will be Starks and they might even have a small castle and court but it will not be Winterfell. It will be a small castle. Moving on to 12th of June, it says village. 9.30 a to 7.30 p and 1 hour for preparations. So they will film a village scene. This village could be one of the first men's village or it could be one of the children of the forest's villages. My bet would be on the first man. That's probably where we'll see these wooden spits from the set photos. On June 13th, in Enclave. On 14th, they will film at a barn. On 15th and 16th, there will be rehearsal for Enclave and from 17 to 20th of June, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. and 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. respectively, they will film an Enclave scene. On 21st June, from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m., it says SY plus RA house. After a lot of search, I only came up with one possibility, House Rogers of Amberley, which is a minor house in Westeros. Their sigil is nine unicorns around a maze, silver on black. By the way, their sigil reminds me of the maze from Westworld. As for SY, I couldn't find anything. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. On June 22nd, it says SC23 rehearsal. So maybe it's a scene 23 or something. On 24th June, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., it says Long Hall. Maybe it's for a castle from one of the petty kingdoms. On June 25th, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., it says Fort Hall Bathhouse. I don't know where it will be, but when I read this, my mind went back to the scene of Jamie and Brienne where he told Brienne what really happened during the sack of King's Landing. Burn them all, he said. I drove my sword into his back. Burn them all, he kept saying. Burn them all. So this might be a similar scenario. On June 26th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., it says Oubliette, which is a secret dungeon with access only through a trap door in its ceiling, which seems particularly nasty. Maybe the children would trap some first men in these dungeons before turning them into white walkers. Or maybe they will put them there after turning them once they find out they are not under their control. What do you think? From June 27th to June 30th, it says 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. respectively. They will film scenes on terraces. On the right hand corner of the board, you can see some more writing in red marker ink. It says dive in dash wins. This brings to mind the scene of John and Ygritte in the cave. Maybe this will be filmed in the marble arch caves. There's both water to dive in and it's a cave. Then you can see bath H which is probably house. Then dash N E Lee. So it might be something about a bathhouse. What are you doing here? I need a bath. And then we can see door dash Lee. I don't know what's Lee, but you can see bathhouse and door. So in short, they will film scenes of Winterfell Court, a village, a barn, SY plus RA house, etc. Which probably belong to the first men, since the children used to live in Cranachs and caves. 
and they will film enclaves. So that was what we saw on the board schedule from the sets of Blood Moon. I hope it gave you some idea on which kind of scenes we can expect from the Game of Thrones prequel. Let's take a look at Blood Moon's memo now. I'll start reading it now. It says, Blood Moon, Endless Winters Productions Limited, Thomas Andrews House, Queen's Road, Queen's Island, Belfast, Northern Ireland. I can't read the last word. Then it says memo to all something from C from production date 10th of June 2019 and I think it's subject which says guidelines to working hours slash payments and policies. First production base it says Titanic Studio Thomas Andrews House Queens Road Belfast and then something which looks like BTS or GOT. What do you think? Then it says resident location Marble Arch Geopark Company Fermanagh BT 92 1 EW 94 miles from Titanic Studio. We know they filmed some of the scenes in Marble Arch Caves. These caves look really cool. If the prequel was filmed here, I can see what George R. R. Martin was talking about. Second shooting period. From Tuesday, June 11th to Wednesday, 10th of July, they filmed at Northern Ireland location. And on Monday, 15th of July, they filmed in Italy. Third, employment slash engagement. I'll read all the points. All crew are employed slash engaged on a five day deal or on a daily something rate. Sixth days are paid at single time. Seventh days are paid at double time. Travel days not worked are paid at 50% of daily rates. Travel or worked days are paid at single times. Bank holidays and worked are paid at double time. And the working week commences on a Monday and runs through to Sunday. Pre-approval by UPM is required to work 6-7 days, bank holidays and something. Then fourth, shooting days slash hours. SWD, 11 hours plus the lunch. SCWD, 10 hours plus the lunch. CWD, 10 hours plus no lunch. I don't know what these mean. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Anyways, it's time for the comment shout out now. Today's comment shout out goes to Clara Maroney who said, You will never see the likes of this again. I'm still mourning this show. I completely agree with you Clara. We will all miss it. There will never be another show like Game of Thrones. So, what do you think of this video? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. If you like this video, please click on the like button below. Share the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.